Hi, I'm Ron from Coleno, your go-to platform for accounts receivables integrated with NetSuite. And today I will walk you through creating installments for customer payments in NetSuite. So first we need to ensure that the installments feature is enabled. For that, we will go to Setup, Company, Enable Features. We then click on the Accounting sub-tab where you will look for installments here. So when you're happy, you go back and you click on save. Then you have the step-by-step -step process. For that, we will go back to the setup menu, accounting, accounting list, new. So we need to select the term. Once you're on this screen, you can select the installment box. Once this is selected, new installment specific fields will appear and non-installment fields will be Disable. So you can see there's a lot more fields if I remove, if I add. So in the terms field, you enter a name, for example, three months term. Then you enter the number of days until the payment is due in days still net due. So let's say 90. At the bottom, you can see you have the recurrence frequency. So here we will choose monthly. We want it to happen uh, four times over the year and to repeat every three months. So four times three, and we will have one year of recurrence for the term. Quick reminder, if you're finding this tutorial helpful, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Then you need to split the payments evenly here. You would check this box to split payments equally or clear it to manually enter different amounts for each installment. And then you can see that at the bottom, now I can enter different amounts. The other option is the pay tax upfront to include all taxes in the first installment and split shipping fees across installments. Once you're happy, you go in the top left and you click on save. Remember that when applying installment terms to a sales order, it can only be viewed, not edited. Editing is only allowed on the invoice and you can override installment terms if necessary. For the payments handling, once payments are made, if the amount exceeds the installment, the excess is applied to the next payment. If the payment is insufficient, then the status changes to partially paid and this reflects in the aging balance. Only overdue installments show as past due, not the entire invoice balance. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like this video. I'll see you in the next one.